Prince Harry, 38, and Zara Tyndall, 42, are first cousins as Harry's father and Zara's mother are siblings. Judy James, a body language expert, spoke exclusively to Express.co.uk to explain how their body language has evolved over time. Judy said, Zara and Harry have always had a very strong relationship, with their nonverbal displays defining friendship as well as family bonds. We saw several trio poses back in the day, with Zara and Mike celebrating their sporting connections and culture together and Mike showing admiration for Harry's work on the Invictus Games, while Harry was clearly in awe of Mike's rugby career. The body language fit between Zara and Mike always looked perfect. Zara is a consummate hugger and uses authentic and spontaneous displays of affection, while Harry has complained at length about how he lacked sufficient hugs from his own father after his mother died. The body language expert argued that the Duke of Sussex became broody as a result of playing with Zara's children. Judy explained, Harry was also seen looking utterly broody playing with Zara's small children and his behavior with the Tyndall seemed to point to some filling of the gaps in Harry's emotional life when it came to a need for maternal hugs, paternal, playful banter and children of his own. We can see Zara's empathy and fondness for her cousin in 2008 when she and Harry embrace and kiss on the cheek. Zara was in bridesmaid mode but she still performed this special and tactile greeting for Harry, who leans in and clings to her neck with an air of needy affection. This cheek kiss takes the bonding deeper though. Harry's eye smile and part-rounded cheek suggest he is using the kiss as a cover for an opportunity to whisper in Zara's ear and presumably make her laugh. Thai sign rituals like this would show to the outside world that they have a confiding, playful relationship with whispering together always suggesting that people are sharing secrets. Judy argues that by the Platinum Jubilee in June 2022, the relationship between Zara and Harry experienced a turning point. She opined, by the Jubilee, their relationship appeared much more complex and cooler. The firm were divided into Team Harry and Team Charles, with a heavy listing towards the future king. Zara was one family member who took time to stand and chat to Harry on the steps outside, which looked like a very symbolic gesture towards a couple that was otherwise alienated. Even Mike appeared to be opting out of the friendship by this point, standing away from his wife and the Sussexes, 